Welcome back to my Bootstrap tutorials and in the last video we set up this slider and in this video we're going to set up this tabable content. Um, if this is somehow the first time you've seen any of my videos, so far we've built out this navigation menu uh, with this drop down. We have a modal window and we also have this accordion here and we did it with only HTML CSS and JavaScript and very little of uh, CSS or JavaScript. Um, let's go ahead and get started. Like I said, we're going to be doing this tabable content. Switch back over to the index.html file and we're going to scroll down a little bit just below our slider and I'm going to click on this one so that I can find the matching div at the bottom. And here we go. And we're going to open up another div. And this div is going to have a class of tabable, tabs, and we'll start out with tabs on the left. And I'm going to close this div out. And we'll need our actual tabs that will serve as our uh, sort of like a menu. And we'll have to have a class of nav, nav, tabs. And we'll close this out and then we'll need each of our links so we'll have um, a list item and inside of that we'll have linking to our first content and then we'll need a data toggle and it's going to be tab and let's see. Uh, I'll call this one HTML slash CSS. And I'll close it out. And I'll close out the list item. Not the icon, the list item. And that looks good. I'll need three of these. So you can copy and paste them below. And I'm going to change this one to JavaScript. And I'll change this one to PHP. And we have our tab set up. Underneath the unordered list, we're going to need a div, and it's going to have a class of tab content. <clears throat> and we're going to need each of our tabs. Uh, we have a div with a class of tab dash ping. And we're going to give it an ID equal to HTML. And we do this for a very specific reason. Uh, this is so we can assign this ID to one of our uh, tabs up here. And we'll go ahead and do that to the first one. So I'll put the hashtag HTML. And this means every time this, uh, this tab is clicked, it's going to show our content within this div one with the ID of HTML. So we have three of them, so I have to copy and paste this a couple of times. We named our second one JavaScript, so I'll give this one an ID of JavaScript. We named our third one PHP, so this one will have an ID of PHP. And again, I'll have to put them up here in our anchor tags with its uh, matching content pane and I'll put one here for PHP and I'm just going to add a few paragraphs in each one and I'll put HTML slash CSS content and I'm just going to be lazy again and copy and paste And then I'll do the same thing under PHP. And then I'll change this one to PHP. And of course, this one to JavaScript. Two more things. You should remember from the last video in our slider, uh, in our for our slider, we needed to set one of our slides to active, and we need to do the same thing for our, our tabs. 
and it's going to go in two different places. We're going to put one under our first tab pane, and that just tells uh, the JavaScript that this will be the tab pane that we start off with. And we also have to do that with our actual uh, tabs. We're going to add a few classes. Actually, we're only going to add one class to the first list item. And that's going to be a class of active. And on the second ones, we're just going to leave an empty class attribute. So let's go ahead and save this, and we should be ready. I'm going to switch back to my browser and hit the refresh. And there you can see our tabable content. Each tab has a nice little hover effect to it, and when you select one of it, it'll hide the content from the first one, and it'll show the, uh, the content for the matching uh, tab. Um, that's going to wrap it up for this video, and almost the entire series. If you've been following along with every single video from the beginning, thank you very much. In our next video, and last one probably, it might be a two-part, I'm not sure yet, um, we'll add a few finishing touches like maybe these icons and we'll go over some things like the block quote. And if you haven't noticed, we haven't checked the responsiveness of this site in a while. And you can see uh, most of our content still scales down all the way down to mobile, uh, even our slider. And um, I'll show you how to take advantage of some of the responsive features, and it should be uh, it should be pretty fun. Nice way to wrap things up. Again, thanks for watching. Um, don't forget to subscribe, and that's it.